So I'm seeing people state, this is a shredding machine, it tears people apart, it's the new best kinetic auto rifle in the game. Today we find out if that's true. What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today we're going to take an in-depth look at the Iron Banner auto rifle, the forward path. Is this thing as good as many people are saying? Is it the new best kinetic auto rifle? These were the videos I saw being made, these were the comments I saw, today I give you my opinion on this, are people jumping the gun going off a couple of lucky games with it or is it that good? We will find out today, but before we go any further guys, do you want to win some epic loot? If so, I have emblem codes, sparrow codes, gift cards and much much more. To win some, simply drop a like on this video, we'll leave a comment down below and join my discord server linked within the video description. So the forward path, only obtainable via the iron banner. So I gave it a go, and to be honest, straight away people, I understood what people meant by saying it's a shredding machine. It actually seriously is. It's fast fire rate means it's super great at close range. It's got great stability and easily controllable recoil. That makes it great for mid range battles. And overall, I was seriously surprised with this weapon. So let's take a look at this thing's perks and then its in depth stats. So we have Tap the Trigger, which is this weapon's trait perk, grants a short period of increased stability and accuracy on initial trigger pull. It has armor piercing rounds or extended mag. Here, definitely go with armor piercing rounds, even though the 51 bullet clip from extended mag is seriously enticing, definitely go with armor piercing rounds here. It has three sights, Red Dot 2 MOA, Red Dot Micro and Rifle Scope SSF. So perk wise, it's pretty decent. Its intrinsic perk is adaptive frame, meaning two stack kinetic counter mods should have a little, which they do even though it isn't much. So let's check out its in-depth stats. So this thing shoots 600 rounds per minute, meaning it fires 10 bullets per second. Damage to the head it will do 17, and damage to the body it will do 13. Damage per second to the head is 170, and damage per second to the body, you guessed it, is 130. It will empty its entire standard clip of 43 in 4.08 seconds. Its reload time is 1.02 seconds, and its ADS time is 0.7 seconds. And it has a 71 aim assist and a 60 recoil direction. We can see on screen now this thing's recoil with and without kinetic counterbalance mods. It's actually not too bad, and it's very easy to control, I will say. So the weapon is great, it kills quick, has decent range, great at close range too, and in all honesty a great great auto rifle. But is it the best in the game? I'm afraid I wouldn't say it is. Although it is great, I would still use the origin story over this any day of the week. The origin story for sure has a slower fire rate and doesn't kill as fast as this can, as you can see by the stats on the screen now when you're comparing them both. But that doesn't matter, the slower fire rate will outdo the quicker fire rate over a certain length as it's much easier to control and when you're under pressure and you got that faster firing weapon, I believe the person who has that slow out fire rate and weapon has the advantage over range, especially when it has armor piercing rounds on it, which will make you bounce all over the place. Plus the range that Origin Story offers is like nothing else kinetic auto rifle wise. It seriously isn't the Origin Story in my opinion is still the daddy of kinetic auto rifles. But hey in saying that this weapon for sure is amazing for what it is. Now I'm quite happy to use this in PvP for almost every instance. But at the end of the day I would still take the Origin Story over this if I had to make a choice. So the conclusion is the forward path is a mean ass weapon. But in my opinion it isn't the best. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video, short but sweet. Remember to win some epic loot, drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Also join my Discord server, that is linked within the video description. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I do upload. But thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong